Hello everyone and welcome back. If you don't know me, my name is Samita Pukanori and my project is Robotic Swarms. Multiple miniature robots collectively working together to identify the tumor and provide therapeutic drugs to reduce the deaths in heart disease, cancer, and chronic respiratory diseases. Did you know that over 27 million people die worldwide because of heart disease and cancer, beating the cases of stroke and pulmonary diseases combined? I was inspired to take my robots into the medical field because of my grandfather's statue to liver cancer. I learned that most technologies are either costly or dysfunctional. Therefore, I wanted to create an inexpensive method for targeted drug deliveries. My robots are able to collectively work together using pressure-sensitive technologies. To detect the tumor, I'm using a force-resistant sensor, which is able to detect different pressures of different objects. I have a small compartment for the drug delivery system, which I cannot reveal just yet. I can say that without a doubt, I've learned a lot about innovation throughout the 3M Young Scientist Challenge. Overall, I have learned that innovation isn't just small alterations, but it's a journey, something my experience with 3M has just begun. The importance of collaboration to successfully solve a problem has been a significant aid in my progress. Without cooperation with my mentor, Dr. Janae Demigras, I wouldn't have reached this point in my project. If I could allow anything to go differently during this process, it would probably be the amount of time I spent on certain things. Originally, I had planned on using the particle argon as my microcontroller, but after a while, I switched to the AT1085. Waiting for the final event is scary, but also exciting. I can't wait to hear about all the other finalist projects, even though it will be done virtually. My innovation is improving lives for the future because I'm providing a breakthrough in micro-robot answer technology. With my project, we can save millions of lives that would be lost because of expenses or misdiagnosis. Though my prototype cannot be used in the human body, I believe with improvements and access to a lab, we can convert my robots to nano-robot size and also have organic materials, such as glucose in the blood to power, and biocompatible and biodegradable materials to fabricate the robot. On top of its efficiency, 20 of my robots cost only $145, which is much cheaper than current technologies, ranging in prices of thousands of dollars. I wanted to thank 3M and Discovery Education for this incredible opportunity. It's a dream come true. Thank you, and until next time.